Um, Saturday 29th, it's been raining all morning, um, so I wanted to get more done today, but eh, whatever, had a bit of a lay in, we haven't seen Jan all week, so we had a, a bit of a lie in and a slow breakfast, um, however, it has now stopped raining, uh, so I'm going to come and make a start, um, I mean this is interesting, like it's been raining all morning, and look at this, look at this, yeah this corner that I'm worried about, slumping or whatever, bone dry, Absolutely bone dry. That's because of all the trees and the stuff. But yeah, you'd expect this trench to be full of water. It's wet. But it's not terrible. Oh no, I left my model out. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I've decided to get a 2x2 two two fence post, put it into that corner facing on the outside. I'm not going to have the shed all the way into this corner anyway. So I'll put a fence post there and then I can put the sleepers up against it that way it won't there's less chance of them slumping I guess I'm just gonna grade that down so I'll probably go four high and then grade it a little bit with a sleeper in front uh, the rest of it we'll just put maybe three I think I think three looks high enough so objective of the morning will be get this bit level get gravel and sand down and then get the slabs in there get a post concreted in there if i can get more concrete done along here i'll do that that's what we're trying for today after i finish my coffee of course <laughs> Yeah, there's still posts in the ground, which is interesting. Some more posts there, I think. Bits of slate and all that. But I'm only going to come back this far. So sort of 12 foot here. So, hopefully not as much work. Not as much work as I was fearing. So they turned out to be great big lumps of concrete that they had concreted the post in with. Anyway, they're out of the way. And another post there, we'll get that. It's a heck of a route. Whew. Some of the chunks coming out of here. They meant those uh, wooden posts to stay in. <laughs> Crazy. Wow, that was a bit of hard work, but anyway, I found the edge. I have to drop it down. This corner, I'll have to do something about that. So, what I'm gonna do now, take that slab, Put it down so i've got the distance i'm not going to go all the way back to the fence i've decided Look at the size of them yeah i'm not going to go all the way back to the fence uh i only need 12 foot so let's stay as far this side as we can uh let's go Okay, so I've got the depth. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't need anything at the back because these slabs are really heavy and they'll hold themselves. But I'll stick a piece of wood along the back just so the gravel and that stays in one place. I'm gonna make something really rough out of this pallet that I happen to have lying around. Okay, so I've made a temporary little wall thing there. Like I said, it's not gonna stay there. Once the slabs are down, it'll come out. But hey, I might kill it. I may cut it flush, who knows. Um, it's going to bring the shed out, maybe. Uh, we want to go level with that line, but it might be a few, you know, an inch or so over. Um, I'll have to see about that. But 
I mean the slabs are 30 inches so that's how far they're going so let's without laying two rows of slabs I'm a bit stuffed so let's um let's get this first row down see how we get on with that okay so now we're gonna put gravel down Connor's all right and a Jan so I got these I joined Selco who did a great deal on all this stuff and delivered it so we're just going to put this down to an inch for drainage level that out then put some sand down Immediately applied to. I love it. Yeah. So good straight away. <sighs> okay, so we've got the gravel down. Now, layer of sand. These bags from Selco, good size. I mean, it says up to 40% more for your money. They're definitely bigger than the ones I got from B&Q, I know that much. So, Connor and I managed to put the slabs down. So, it took five of them. So I actually have, what have we got left? Three of those, so they can be used for the... Uh,